YouTube, I have someone that you would like to meet. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, he just turned 120 today. Um, my friend Bob. Say, Bob. Say hello. But he's quiet. Yeah, he's very shy. Say what? Huh? No. no. Um, yeah, he's been looking at me. For... Hello, everyone. I have a great message to share with you all about financial and physical blessings. Stay tuned. Hey, YouTube world. Um, I have an important video to share with you all about financial blessings and uh, physical blessings. Um, I'm going to just, you know, it's all going to be in one video. I'm going to just happen it up. Physical, I'm sorry, financial blessings. Now, we all, that, we all know that money is a needed thing. But the Bible did warn us not to love money because that can increase, increase greed and start to become selfish. But we all know that money is an important thing right now. And it always has been since the, I wouldn't say the beginning of time, but you know, I was what happened after. About eight years ago, eight or nine years ago, um, I had a friend that was going through some financial struggle uh, with bills and uh, rent and utilities. So it's like I had an epiphany to like share this person something. Have you ever had a feeling like, God just gave you something to give to someone else, but then later on, you kind of like take that advice for yourself because you know you need it too in the future. So, I um, I told this individual, take about 20 or 30% of your income that you get paid every week, I'm sorry, every uh, bi-weekly, and to store that into a separate account um, and don't take nothing from that account at all. Don't even check it. if, Unless you really need to, but like maybe every other month you can check it. But just take it and just transfer it. Just 20 or 30% to a separate account. And, or you could just take out $20 in cash and just store it in a secret place in your home. So she picked the first, uh, she picked the first, uh, advice that I told her just to, to transfer which is of course be much easier so within like maybe a year later or two years later she happened to check her account and she said that she even forgot about it apparently and I kind of like reminded her thank God for that of course because you know, the advice that he gives us is like he'll make sure we're following up to date about it and her money increased so much that I was like, wow. And I started to take that advice as well. And I was happy that she, she listened to it. Uh, thank God, thank God for that. Thank God for that insight that he gave me to tell her. And King Solomon once said in Proverbs chapter 30, I'm sorry, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 11, it says that whoever gathers little by little will increase it. So if you just take out, maybe start, or if you haven't done this, take out about like maybe $20 out of your out of your account. Every time you get paid, take out 20 immediately and just store it in a safe place in your home. And every time you get it, just store it. Like keep it in the, keep it in the area where you know that you can't just see it and it's laying there, you can just grab it, but like just store it, hide it underneath something, like a box under a box, underneath a box or something, you know? And, you will increase what you have been saving. And it's been going well ever since. I didn't understand what hypertension was until I was on the verge of having it. Um, it wasn't severe, but it was definitely in close range with it. And then uh, having high blood pressure or developing diabetes and other um, unhealthy issues, I thought I would never be on that path of ever um, achieving that but then again the way that I was treating my body my body wasn't taking care of me 
I was eating whatever I wanted to eat. You can name it fried chicken, um, man, pizza in the morning, and it was almost every day. So I ate what I, whatever I wanted to eat, and also plus that I did not exercise. I did not. I wasn't into fitness. I wasn't. I was. It was kind of like it was deemed less important in my life. Other things was, but it was totally backwards. I know right now I look like Sideshow Bob, but just just forgive me how I'm looking right now. Um, so, and this was around 2011, 2012 when I had that news. And the best advice the doctor can give me was something that I should have been knowing and also following up even since I heard it as a kid. You know, your, your nutrition, uh, fitness, exercise, it's like when we're, when we're young, we're educated on those things, but we don't take that stuff after when we graduate. But then I had to go back and educate myself. Like, you know, I, I learned a lot in school, and yet I'm not putting it into practice. So when a doctor gave me those tips, I definitely took that upon myself and became more responsible in what I'm eating and also what I need to start doing. But I also develop an interest into fitness and um and eating right sometimes. I would snack on, you know, back then, I would snack on, you know, ice cream, donuts, Twinkies, um, yeah, gummy worms, Skittles, M&M's, um, honey buns. Um, that was every now and then. No, but seriously, um, I was scared. I was, I was scared. And I thought, like, then people don't develop those conditions. I was six, six three, six four around that time, 2011, 2012, and I was like maybe 190, 200 pounds. I was thin. I looked like a light-skinned Gumby. I was thin. I was like, well, I'm be thin. I'm long as I'm not overweight, and I can eat whatever I want. That's how I live. I mean, I was active when I was growing up into sports, martial arts. Teenage years, no more entertainment, and adult years, it's not some, kind of the same thing, but fitness and diet, nutrition, you can miss me with that, I didn't care. But until I had a wake up call, and normally I don't speak on these things, but there's a there's something that I tend to not take to heart, but it's kind of true. For some people, that fear can be a great motivator. Not in a sense of, not in a sense of something demonic, but the term of something that can wake you up to start living right, I should say. And that's what it, it that's what it done to me. But then a month later after having that, um, that bad report from the doctor, I put in work, I took in, I harvest any advice that I can from that doctor and I put into work with a month later, it switched, everything was good. I was balanced. I was energetic, I was happy, and I found a new hobby, that was fitness. People was able to see my body transform from someone that looked like, I um, mean, Pee Wee Herman to Hercules. You know, folks start asking me advice. You know, hey, how can I get this, how can I get that? And I wasn't, I wasn't trained myself. I just, I kind of studied my body, what I should eat, what I should eat, what how to gain muscle, how to, burn calories, lose weight, and I can must say, staying active, be, motivating yourself was number one. Although I did receive that bad report, I turned it into something good. And I shared this amongst family and friends. I would target certain body parts and increase the size I mean, from calves, thighs, glutes, um, arms, forearms, um, any place you can name, back, chest, it's triceps, biceps, whatever. But then a special lady once told me that the most important muscle that you need to be concerned is your heart. And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, you're yeah, right. You know, I just like, okay, I bypassed it. But then to the point where I started doing cardio, when I started doing cardio, like really, really like into it, besides weightlifting, 
I would like try to run a block without stopping or like getting tired and I couldn't even do it. Walking up the stairs causing an earthquake and I, I barely was, I was like almost sweating. I'm like, oh man, you know, so I take that personal advice too. And this was like maybe a, about like a couple of months when I was really into fitness. And I realized that the heart cardio was very important in my life and what I needed to start doing. And so I added that in with my workouts as far as the weight training and strength training and uh, all of this sort. Um, I still do it every now and then, of course. Especially cardio, more cardio than anything, I tell you that. I remember what remember what God said about um, body training. And I was surprised <laughs> to find that in the scriptures, but it says that body training is of some value. I was like, oh what? Like really? That's, that's nice. You know? You can tell, like, you know, you read the stories in the Gospels, you know, Jesus walked everywhere. Like, folks didn't have, you know, a Cadillac. Like, he owned boat or he was walking. So, to, <laughs> he rode on the donkey, you know, a few times, well, once, but, yeah. But, no, seriously, um, that was so important to me. But it also continues to say that, you know, godliness is of great value in all areas of life. So... I'm like, yeah, definitely, definitely that. But we do have a responsibility to not just take care of our soul, our spirit, but also our heart, our mind. Definitely our heart. Because um, I wouldn't want you to be, as I was before, concerned with the the things of life. I mean, the beauty, it's nothing wrong with that. It's definitely nothing wrong with that, but of course, take care of your body, at least you can see more years add into your life and not have to take certain medications until you die. Like, if you can just start now. And it's easy for me to tell you what you should do, but I'm also telling you that it's something that I have already done and continue to been doing for years. Because I don't want that scare. I don't want to be scared like that ever again in my life. Um, it's... Fitness is, is not necessarily all about working out one part of the body, but all parts. You know, sometimes I would see like women, you know, even online and trying to take advice from them, listening to them, but it's all about the booty. And I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really concerned about cheeks. That's my, that's, that's the Milwaukee word. So I mean, my God, say I'm not really concerned about cheeks and stuff like that. I mean, one time I was like in squats, started doing squats and I was getting like firm back there. I'm like, yeah, I'm not finna, mm -mm. like, I'm not trying to be thick. I'm already big, like, you know, muscular at the time. And I'm like, I'm not, no, I'm, no. But then again, if you ladies are just working on one part of your body, think about your arms. Think about, you know what I'm saying, your legs. Of course, it's what you work on the most, the legs, but think about your heart. Strength. Being able to carry something without dropping it within five seconds. But, you know, all to its own, just take care of your body. That's very important. You only get one body. What you have, you can't buy from the store. You can buy milk, juice, eggs, bologna, whatever you want, but you can't buy arms. You can't buy legs. You can't buy feet at the store. That's one of a kind. The stuff there at GNC, some of the stuff, the protein powders, the pills, is not I'm not gonna say all of it, but some of it is not FDA approved. And that was a shocker to me because I would think that, you know, they, of course they clinically test certain things, but I kind of know why. And I'm like, yeah, this stuff should not be sold. I cannot remember exactly what I took years ago, but it was from GNC. When I was into bodybuilding, there was a supplement, a powdery substance from GNC as a protein shake and I would take it. And there were some side effects, major side effects as of taking it, and that will cause me to be very angry. And it did do the job very well in my body, but the side effects was not worth having, and I got rid of it completely. You have to have fun working out. Some people do not want to work out, and I can understand that. I mean, it's a lot to do. 
but then you don't want to wait until later on you get bad news and then certain things are cut off from your body where you can't walk no more and now you're motivated to do something but it's too late. Don't get to the point where it's too late for you to do what you need to do. When you were in school, you were you learned about exercise and you learned about eating right, you learned about taking care of your body. Don't forget about that message, because I did. And just the simplest, the simplest knowledge and wisdom that we learned from school, we tend to forget about it and deemed it less important until we face with the consequences of our actions. Don't get to that point in life where it's too late for you to do what you really want to do, and now you can. If I'm speaking to you about this, then make a plan, either tonight, later on, after this video, or even tomorrow, to like, you know what? If you can't go to the gym, no gym nearby. If it's warm where you're at, take a walk around the block. Walk to the store. You know, um, um, YouTube has a lot of five minute home workouts. Just try to do that. If it's, if it's a fast paced one, then just try to just try to do something. Something is better than nothing. I can tell you that something is better than nothing. Remember when Jesus said, you know, that um, whatever you eat, whatever you drink, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. If you love playing the piano, if you love drawing, if you love painting, do it all for his glory. If you love fitness, if you love to teach, if you love fixing things, if you're a carpenter, you're a musician, if you love to take care of kids, do it all for the glory of God. Because it's all for his glory. Everything. It's easy for you to get behind the screen and just tell you what you need to do like I'm doing now, but coming from someone that did have experience on receiving bad news, and if I was continue to be lazy, then I probably wouldn't even be here. So I just hope that you don't follow my footsteps and just do things late, knowing that you should have the opportunity of doing it now. And just by that little warning sign of having almost like, uh, having mild hypertension, and there's different levels. If you ever look at the, uh, they have a chart. I think it's mild, or then severe, and then it's to the top. Don't get to the point where you're at the top. Be balanced. So whatever you do, just try to be balanced. I know some days can be lazy. I know I may have those days some too at times, but then I'm looking like I'm not going to listen to what my doubts or mind have to say. Because you know when sometimes, you know when you listen to your mind so much is that when you're about to do something, you sit there, you just stand there or sit there and think like, uh, this or that, nah, miss me. Let me just do it. One time, it was so windy here. I, mean, I felt like it was Chicago again, but it was, because Chicago's like, you know, like an hour and a half away, and you know, that's known as a windy city. And I'm walking, you know, we kind of get some wind, especially by the, uh, by Bradford Beach. And I'm like, man, I should go back home when I was feeling that wind. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna push it out. And then when I did push up, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna just go through it, forget it. I was just walking the neighborhood, just over oh, this sightseeing. The wind ceased. Like the wind was just, just calm. I'm like, wow, just imagine if I would have went all if I would just went home and then now it stopped. I'm like, no, I'm gonna just go through it. And it was it was okay. So just ignore the doubts. I mean sometimes we do think, but when you're thinking so much and you're not doing nothing, that's a that's a dangerous position to be in. If there is no one to motivate you, I hope that what I said will motivate you. But you have to learn how to motivate yourself by doing what you need to do. Don't wait until you get a scare and then, oh, okay, I'm gonna do something. Don't, don't wait. Just go for it. Just go for it. Some people are lucky to just be healthy and eat a whole bunch of stuff. I know someone back in high school, and it was, oh my goodness, what? Maybe 5'10", they were about maybe 150. They can eat like five pieces and won't even gain a pound. You know, lucky for them, but uh, lucky for them, but uh, you know, but this, you gotta stay healthy, stay fit. And I hope you learned something, especially from the other video about uh, the money saving. So whoever gathers little by little should increase it. And also for this vid, this video, body training is of good value. But godliness 
is of a great value of all. And whatever you do, whatever you eat or drink, do it all for the glory of God. Take care of yourselves, all right? I'll see you later. I hope what I said today was very encouraging and I hope it motivated you to be better and do better. I love you all. Goodbye.